everybody welcome back for the second part of Lydia. I'm gonna continue where we stopped the last time. Here we go. Teddy I know but I know you are Okay. You promise? Go down there. You are grown ups. Just go to bed then, or what can I go? Oh, I can go. Well, I'm just looking outside. I can do here. That's good. Can I go to bed? Back in the closet. Oh, it's gonna go back then. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, she's growing up. Oh, she's older now. Look. I know I messed up, but it's going to be like that this time. This time, I'm sure we'll find the monster. And we're going to show it who's the boss. I promise you that. I've learned my lesson. Nothing bad is going to happen this time. I prom. No. I swear. Where are we? Don't you remember? It's wherever you want to be. I don't know. This looks scary. Trust me. There's nothing to be scared of. Let's have some fun let me show you that this monster of yours is nothing more than a bad talk come on chin up don't you trust me that's the spirit let's go adventuring Okay, here we go. Teddy, it's dark, and the sounds, the monster must be near, don't be afraid dear, there's no reason for it, remember, I'm with you, okay, let's move on then. Oh, it does look scary, that's for sure. I'm getting scared. Where are you taking me? I... Um, it's going to be fun. I promise. You just need to walk a little bit further. The monster... Just relax and enjoy yourself. It's not going to be like last time. It's really cool how they 
they make like the trees really scary. You see that a lot in like movies or in 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 books or in other games. It's really nice that they they put it in the game. Where are we? I want to go home. Oh dear. Look, we're almost there. I'm sure of it. Do you know where we are? But of course. Come on. Let's get moving. I want to go home. Teddy, please take me home. I'm scared. I don't want to find the monster. I just want to go home. Hush uh, now. Everything's alright. I want to go home. We're lost, aren't we? N no. We're not. Come on. Just a little bit more. Please. I promise. It's all going to be alright. You promise? Yes. Come on, sugar pups. Let's get going. See? I told you it would be alright. What are those green things? Fireflies. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, Teddy. They're so pretty. They're like stars. Do I have to click on them? How do I... Well, I just go out of it? I don't know if I have to do something. Papa. I can't go there. Papa. It's too dark. <laughs> Look at those fireflies. They're like stars. So yeah, definitely we'll have to do something with them, I guess. Oh, that one disappeared. You saw that? Okay, so I'll have to find like a... Some kind of sequence I have to follow. And kind of order I have to let them disappear second one okay so we got the first one we got the second one that third one and then probably this one no okay now I know. <laughs> First one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. There you go. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. Come on, Teddy. Let's go. I'm not scared anymore. You were right. There is nothing to be afraid of. That's what I said all along. I'm sure we'll find the monster. And there's nothing to be afraid of. You'll see. Let's get going. Now it's getting dark again. Beep, 
Teddy. This looks nice. Yep. Like I said, just a bad thought. That monster is yours. I'm off. Go and enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Oh, Teddy. Thank you. Where on earth have you been? I was worried sick. Can't go running off like that. There, there. It's all right. Come on. Let's sit down. You're freezing. Let's get you warmed up. We still need to fry those marshmallows. Now that's better. You really scared me, you know. I'm sorry. It's alright, dear. I was worried that something happened to you. Never wander off like that again, okay? Okay. No. Where were you? Where were we? Excuse me. Oh, the marshmallows. But you have to wait a little long. Fire is ready. Hey. You want to hear a story? I used to tell you stories. When you were a bit younger. Funny how time flies. Feels like yesterday. Yes, please. Tell me a story. Very well. That wish is my command. <laughs> this story is a funny one. No one. Not one bit scary. Promise? I promise. That teddy bear of yours. Did you know he was once a real bear? Really? No. Don't be silly. You're pulling my leg. Yes, he was. He lived here in the woods. With his pals and family. He had this cozy little cave. By a little pond. Those bears got everything going for them. One day, one of those bears was walking in the forest. This bear was special. He was the only purple one in the whole bunch. There are no purple bears. Oh yes there are. But only one in the whole wide world. Sometimes this purple bear felt lonely because he was different from the other bears. That's why the bear liked to walk alone in the woods. Now, as the bear was taking his walk, suddenly he saw this little girl behind the bushes. The bear got curious. What happened next? Hmm. The purple bear had his usual route, but this time he decided to go for an adventure, and he was not disappointed. The bear hadn't seen anything like the girl before. He watched her behind the tree. The girl was so pretty, the bear thought. Then the bear stepped on a straw, and the girl heard that. What's wrong? You promised this story wouldn't be scary. I did, didn't I? Let me think. At first, the girl was scared. But then, she saw this purple bear. And she saw that the bear wasn't scary at all. The bear wasn't scary either. The bear knew the girl was different from him. But he didn't care. Bear thought, maybe she can be my friend. 
I don't have to be alone anymore. They stood there for a while, looking at each other. Then the girl saw the bear smile, and then started walking towards each other. The girl was happy. What the hell? Hang on, dear. I have to take this. What? Hank? My main man. What's happening? Nothing here. Same old, same old. I can't come. I'm camping with her. Yeah, tell me about it. But man's gotta do what man's gotta do. No, I don't think so. Well... I guess you could come. Oh, alright. Come on down here then. We're not that far. We, from the interstate. I've got drinks and food. What about her? It's late, and she goes to sleep right about now. Cool. Call me when you're a little closer. Cheers. See you soon. What about the story? Come on, time to go to bed. You promised. Don't be like that. It's late anyways. But you promised. You stop that right now. I don't want to hear any whining from a big girl like you. Now go to the tent and start sleeping. Sometimes you do stupid shit when you don't think, you know, against your better judgment. Do you know, that one time I didn't pull out, this happened. A couple weeks later, boom, she's pregnant, wants me to step up. We gotta get married. What can I do? Nine months later, this bag or joy arrives. Don't get me wrong, I love the little monkey, but there's just, I don't know, it's, you know, different than you think. Can't sleep for a full year. She just keeps crying and crying. Still gives me the creeps. And the shit with Mrs. Jesus. Don't even get me started. Give me another bottle, would you? I've already packed my bags. I'll hit the road tomorrow. I just can't take it anymore. What do you mean? Of course, I've thought it through. I'm tired of playing house. Pure and simple. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Chapter 3, The Princess. You're not a child anymore. And with this part, guys, I'm going to stop it here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.